Hey there. I wanted to talk about the Hawkhaven quill, uh, which I have right here. I picked this up yesterday. I was at the uh, at their winery in Cape May Courthouse. Uh, so it's about two-thirds of the way down on the Cape, uh, going toward Cape May. Uh, they have a, a really nice facility, um, beautiful vineyards. I've got a couple pictures I'm going to post uh, that I took while I was there. And a very nice little tasting room. Um, I had a very, um, <clears throat> very well-informed uh, gentleman assist me, and I tasted several of their wines, came home with a couple of bottles. Um, but this quill is the one that I wanted to, to share with each of you. It's, um, uh, they only produce 16 barrels of this, uh, of this one, and so it's not going to be around forever. It's not a huge quantity. Um, it is uh, a Bordeaux-style blend. So, um, you know, Bordeaux-style uh, blends are usually um, a uh, mix of Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, uh, Cabernet Franc, uh, and in this case, uh, there's some Malbec in there as well. Um, but it's a beautifully uh, balanced wine, and it tastes great, and uh, so I wanted to uh, share it with you. <coughs> So a little on the nose of this, um, yeah, you get the cinnamon spice, kind of holiday spice in there a little bit. Um, you know, I'm definitely uh, smelling you know, the black cherry, very present, uh, you know, in the fruit um, profile. And then I get a really good, not overpowering, but just adding a layer of complexity or sort of these earthy qualities of like a fresh cut cigar or, you know, sort of a leather, leather sofa kind of smell. Um, and then a very pleasing kind of whiff of menthol that, that I that I pick up on this. So I really enjoy um, the nose and the taste is great. It's really mellow at first. You get like a nice mellow fruitiness but it's balanced and you get a little bit more of a burst of that leather and tobacco um, in the taste. <coughs> It's got a long finish. Tannins are gentle um, and more apparent as it finishes. Uh, it's nice. You also get like the this prune date fig kind of uh, flavor that comes out as it's finishing too, which is very nice. Um, terrific wine. I could see it going great with a with a steak or any red meat. This could stand up to something pretty bold, um, but I love it. I absolutely love it. I think that. Uh, you know, this is really indicative of some of the best winemaking um, that could be done on the outer coastal plain. Uh, I say that sincerely. I think these Bordeaux blends that several different vintners are doing are really showcasing you know, some of the best uh, of, of what this region can do. So with that, Hawkhaven Quill, um, give it a try and see you next time. Thanks.